setting up the Tesla lights, uh, all of these little tubes down here are a different noble gas. Got krypton, helium, hydrogen, argon, oxygen, neon, etc. So, uh, and then this middle one is air. It's a, it's a mixture of air and, and, uh, and some other gases as well. So, every day I will um, rotate the gas to make sure we're getting uh, a little different flavor. And uh, these correspond over here. So today we're on hydrogen. Hydrogen, right? Yeah. And then I'll also rotate these big ones. There's uh, there's two different sizes, and that means they produce slightly different frequencies. Um, and the difference between these two units is it's an AC and a DC unit, so the different uh, the different power currents also producing different frequencies. So we just got. Just got a whole ton of frequencies going on. Um, all right, that's that. Ryder has already obtained his crystal. We used to have two crystals, but uh, he broke one of them, so now we're down to one. But uh, crystals are harnessers of energy. That's uh, scientifically proven, not woo woo. We'll close the doors. And the curtains for effect. Hopefully this will show up in the dark. All right, you want to close the curtain by yourself? All right, close the other curtain. Close the other curtain. Close it. Need help? There you go. Good job. All right, you ready? All right. We'll get injured Batman in here because uh, he's getting old. And needs a little recharge himself. Between these two bad boys. What? Alright, and we will turn, don't touch the Tesla lights. You get a nice little shock if you touch them. Nothing too bad, but bad enough that it doesn't feel good. Alright. And so we'll sit in here for uh, 10 to 15 minutes, a couple times a day. We sit in between them. Uh, in the mornings and then in the afternoons uh, with Ryder's back facing the DC unit. DC, right? Yeah. The DC unit because that's kind of the um, more internal, internal current. Uh, and yeah, basically we are, we're producing frequencies to enhance our own frequency. Basically things that are alive and vibrant. <laughs> like Ryder here. Are, uh, are vibrating at very high frequencies and things that are, you know, either diseased, like diseases themselves, or, uh, or organisms vulnerable to disease are vibrating at, at lower frequencies. So yeah, there's, there's actually been a lot of research on it. A, a couple people have proven exactly that, that uh, healthy, vibrant, high frequency, low disease, low frequency, and so yeah, basically that's what we're doing here with the Tesla lights is we're producing high vibrations and, uh, and uh, you know, this is based off of Tesla's original work that uh, was picked up on by a guy named Lakovsky and, uh, and he was able to figure out how to basically make these devices um, produce the frequencies in such a way that that uh, could be absorbed by living organisms, such as, uh, such as me and Ryder and Batman here. So if you are interested, you can find out more about Tesla lights uh, on the website of the manufacturer, which is teslaenergylights.com. And he has a list of all of his resellers, so you can, they're, they're not cheap. We actually got these donated to us, which was, uh, which was very, very nice. I still can't believe we got these donated to us, but. There, there's more information, there's a list of his resellers, and, and they do sell uh, used demo units on the site as well for, uh, for less if you're interested. So check out teslaenergylights.com for more info on these bad boys.